This video is my personal opinion about dental stone and what I think works best and where you can get it. First off, I think the dental stone is the best material to use in the mold. It sets up harder than other gypsum materials, flows better into the mold, castings have fewer air bubbles, and it takes paint better. Now for a quick word of warning, any materials with the word plaster in it is usually a weak material. Dental plaster, ortho plaster, molding plaster, and pottery plaster are all examples of materials that are probably just as weak as plaster of Paris. The only way to see for sure if they are stronger is to look at their compressive strength. So when looking for a casting material, compare the compressive strength measured in PSI or pounds per square inch. The higher the compressive strength, the harder the material will be when it cures. Plaster of Paris can run from 2000 PSI to 5000 PSI compressive strength. Hydrocal is around 6000 to 8000 PSI. Flow stones such as Merlin's Magic pour into the mold more easily and can run from 12,000 to 14,000 PSI. Dye stones such as Excalibur and Dikeen can go as high as 18,000 PSI and cure so hard they're almost like a ceramic material. Many of the harder materials have the name stone or dye in them, such as Dikeen, Veridye, Dye Stone, Tech Stone, and Apex Stone. Once again, don't take the name at face value. Be sure to look up the compressive strength of the material before buying it. So far, one of my favorite materials is Merlin's Magic from Garrico, but this doesn't mean it's the best product for everyone. There are hundreds of types of dental stone, each with their own properties. Keep in mind that all of these materials are brittle. Unlike plastic or resin, anything cast from dental stone might break if it falls on the floor. However, harder materials will be more resistant to chipping than the softer ones. In my experience, the biggest problems with using dental stone are finding where to buy it, getting it shipped for a reasonable price, and waiting for it to show up in the mail. Pound for pound, dental stone costs about the same as cheap old plaster of Paris. What makes it expensive is the shipping cost. At the making of this video, a 50 pound box of Merlin's Magic costs around $50, but shipping can cost another $40 on top of that. As far as finding where to buy dental stone, a good choice is to go to eBay and search for dental stone. Most of the choices that come up will be good ones, but check the compressive strength and the shipping cost. On this page I have reviewed a couple of products from a company called The Plaster Guys. What they have done is to try to fit as much material into a priority mail flat rate shipping box as possible to keep the cost down. The reason their largest box of material is only 38 pounds and not 50 pounds is because they can't fit any more of it into a flat rate box. However, the best solution is to try and find a dental store locally. If you live in a larger city, they might have a dental supply place where you can stop by and purchase dental stone. Be sure to give them a call though. Many dental suppliers will only sell to dentists. You may also be able to purchase dental stone through your dentist if he happened to be friends with them. If not, then your only other option is to order dental stone and have it shipped to you. 